me, the ocean is a place of freedom. The minute you leave the sand and you step foot in the water, all your problems kind of disappear. It's so beautiful. Once you're out there in the ocean, you just realize that you're so lucky to be here at this moment in time. Being the only girl of three older brothers is pretty wild. It made me really tough, strong, and probably a little wild at the same time. Well, we were pretty lucky as kids growing up in Ventura. My mom wanted me to be a ballerina, but I love sports and love trying to keep up with the boys. I pretty much got into surfing because I was left behind all the time. Finally, I proved to them that I could catch a couple waves and I could keep up with them. Then I was allowed to kind of hang out more often. I think she first started doing it to meet boys, and then, uh, and then she actually, I mean, she was good at it, she was a natural at it anyways, but after a couple years into it, she was like getting sponsored and got to the point where she was surfing more than any of us. Mary used to be Dave Osborne's sister, and now I'm Mary Osborne's brother. <laughs> I think that's what it's evolved to. Surfing has taken me all over the world, but my home is my home, and I feel very fortunate every time I come back home. Living in Ventura, I think you get a little spoiled because there's so many fun things to do. Just such a warm town, and every day there's something that you can go and explore. Definitely one of the most beautiful cities on the coast, and I don't plan on leaving here anytime soon. Ventura has so many great things to offer, and one of my favorite places is the Channel Islands. 40-minute boat ride out of Ventura Harbor, and you're sitting in the most pristine, beautiful coastline that you'll ever experience. This place is truly a definition of adventure. You know there's a history here that lies in the wind and in the air. You can feel it when you step on land. It's a special feeling that only you can get when you're actually on the island. You want to go explore. You want to discover what animals are living out here. You want to go swim in the water. And you really want to connect with nature. So it's a perfect combination of relaxation and adventure. One of the best things about camping out on the Channel Islands is that you can come as a minimalist or you can have the option to have more of a five-star experience where your gear is brought out here for you, your food's brought out here for you, and you really don't have to think about anything but getting on the boat and coming over. You can come out here with your friends and sleep in a tent in a sleeping bag and just experience life again. You are completely off the grid, but you are so close to home. Just being outside, getting out of your element, it's healthy. It makes you feel rejuvenated. You're standing on a bluff and you're looking back at home, realizing the big things that drive you crazy in life really don't matter. When you go back into your day-to-day -day life, I think you're a better person. Everybody in life is really looking for that perfect escape, and the Channel Islands is the ideal location to do that.